Full disclosure here. Yes, I am not wearing a wedding ring, but I am married. Mm. Welcome back, friends. This film is about a cheating wife who plots to steal all her husband's wealth after she learns that he has lost his job and all this is from a 2008 crime drama called Burn after reading directed by the Coen brothers. Katie Cox, portrayed by Tilda Swinton, is the wife to Osborne Cox, portrayed by John Malkovich. Sandy Farrer, portrayed by Elizabeth Marvel, is the wife to Harry Farrer, portrayed by George Clooney, and here is their story. Osborne Cox was an analyst in the CIA with a level 3 clearance and after the very many years of service to his country, disappointedly he was demoted because he had a drinking problem and even though he was given something at a very low clearance level, he instead decided to quit and on giving his wife this news who was by the way cheating on him with Harry in secret, she chooses to go to her lawyer for advice on how she could get a divorce and rob him of everything. Speaking of Harry, he was a guy working in the treasury while his wife is a kid's book writer, but he had this bad addiction of dating random women from online dating sites even though among the women he would cheat with, Katie seemed to be the permanent one at almost a mistress level. Back to Katie, when she went to her lawyer, he advised her to get hold of her husband's financial and computer files for assessment before they would make any move. And among the files she got from her husband's computer were his memoirs about the book he was planning on writing which she put on a disc and gave to the secretary of her lawyer. Unfortunately, the secretary happens to lose the original copy of the CD in a gym where Linda Litska, portrayed by Frances McDormand and Chad Feldheimer, portrayed by Brad Pitt work and when a workmate of theirs called Manolo finds this in the ladies locker room. He gave it Chad thinking it was music on it and when they found out that it was CIA secret files stuff, Chad decided to dig around to find out who the files belonged to. After getting the name Osborne Cox plus his contact, he and Linda decided to give him a call for a reward, initially. This was Chad's plan to get the reward however small it could be, but after Linda also got this idea at a time when she was desperate for cash to help her out with her cosmetic surgeries she was so desperate for, she thought they would get over 20 grand from Osborne Cox so she set up a meeting with him. Speaking of Linda, she is a middle-aged woman wanting to look young and beautiful thinking the reason men were no longer in for her like they used to was because of her wrinkles which put her in this desperate position despite her boss secretly crashing on her. Anyway, as she was looking for money for her surgeries, she thought of internet dating and it was when she met Harry with whom she developed a strong liking making her more desperate for the surgeries not knowing he was a player, and speaking of Harry being a player, his wife put a private detective on his tail for their divorce, but because he was cheating with the wife of a CIA agent, he always thought it was one of his guys so he would try to be smart. Now, when Linda and Chad went to meet with Osborne Cox, he refused to pay them and what she did was to drive straight to the Russian embassy to sell whatever was on the CD to them though the problem was the Russian guys wanted more of it for the price Linda and Chad wanted. Remember, there is nothing more dangerous than a desperate woman so because the Russians wanted more, Linda asked Chad to steal more files from Osborne's residence, and unfortunately, Chad went to the wrong place at the wrong time and Harry shot him, and yes, I mean the guy Osborne's wife is cheating with. After Chad went missing for over 48 hours, Linda thought the Russians had something to do with it so she went there and they were like they had nothing to do with it, she instead started bagging Harry to do something about it, and on top of it, she even tried to influence her boss psychologically and because he had a crush on her, poor old man decided to break the law for her and when he went to Osborne's place to get her more files, Osborne Cox was there and he shot and slaughtered him. Driven by the anger after finding out that his wife was cheating, dried his entire account and wanted to divorce him. Long story short, the reason Harry's wife wanted a divorce other than that her husband was cheating was because she was also seeing someone else, when Osborne Cox was ending the life of Linda's boss, his was put into a coma by one of the CIA agents spying on him because he could not take his brutality, Harry thought Linda was a CIA so he tried to flee the country to Venezuela and for Linda when the CIA guys caught her, she made them pay her surgeries in order to work with them. Thanks for watching if you have come this far and until next time, look for this movie, watch it, and God bless.